Hello everyone, welcome back to Suikoden. It's been a long time. I've missed you guys a lot. In case you don't watch any of my other LPs and you don't know where I've been, just letting you know that I was incredibly ill and bedridden with pneumonia for the last two weeks. I, I am still sick, but I'm a lot better now. And I've missed this game so much, and I really waited because I wanted to present it to you in the best way that I could. And, uh, well... Here we are. We're in Tien. Now, if it's been so long that I'm going to try to recap you as best that I can. So in the last one, we had two major battles. The battle at Garan with the Imperials, and then the secondary battle with Milich's army, which we completely annihilated. So, now we have a couple of things to do. They don't really make it too clear, but I'm going to help you along the way. So now there's a couple of things we can do as far as recruitment and setting up for the next part of the story. So that's what we're going to do. Now you've landed in Tien at this point, if you've gone through my walkthrough. So at this point, what I would recommend you do is go ahead and go uh, upgrade Flick and everyone else's weapons. You just got Flick back, pretty much. We haven't seen him in a long time. Now his level is fine. His levels actually sh uh, should be higher than yours, but um, our weapons right now are a little bit lacking. You can see that I have no money. The reason being is because I upgraded everyone's weapons to level 10, um, and that's what I kind of suggest you do at this point if you can. If you don't have money, you can go back to the castle and play uh, with Gaspar if you need to, save a couple of times, see if you can get some money from them. Remember too, in the last one we got a couple of really important things. We got some people, we got Hellion, who I feel really bad about because I said in the last one that she was useless. She's not. What I meant was she was useless in the castle. She doesn't do anything. She just stands there. However, if you want an incredible magic user, Hellion is great. She's, I, in my mind, I think she's actually better than Luke in this game. Stats wise, on paper, no, but I like her better. E either way. We got Hellion, we got Fusu, Lu, and a couple of others, but we got the Blinking Mirror, and that's really important because now we can teleport to and from any town we want at any point. So get stuff upgraded in Tien. You can only do weapons here. And then what we'll do is start our journey. Now, in the last one, you remember that we talked to an appraiser who said if you can find him something to appraise that he's never seen before, that he'll join you. That starts the quest to get the Nameless Urn. On this entire map that you see before us, you have a chance to inquire uh, Holly Fairies. So if you find the Holly Fairies, that's who you will fight to try to get the Nameless Urn. The Urn is a huge pain in the ass to get. It's usually a, a, a game breaker, pretty much. It can take two minutes, or it can take a long time. So here's what we're gonna do while trying to fight for the Urn on this map. We're going to go southwest of Tien, all the way this way. Now we haven't been over to any of these places before. We've been to Recon, which is directly south, but now we're going to go stop at all of these places and the reason being is once you stop at them, even if you can't do anything in them, they'll show up on the list for Vicky later so we can teleport directly to them. Get out of here. If you see these guys, get out. Don't fight them. It's not worth it. The Mad Ivies and the Creepers, while I think one of them drops like a magic robe or something like that, just buy it at the store because these guys look stupid, but they can pack a huge punch, and they are the reason that so many people have deaths. Forget about them. This is Sonya Prison right here. We actually are going to have to come here for the story later. Don't do anything, just come here and leave. Once we've stepped in here, now it's on the list. We actually can't go anywhere, it's obviously Imperial Run. Now, we're going to go ahead and go all the way west as well. Thankfully, like I said, we've got that map, it's so handy. And as you're going through here, if you see the holly fairies, go ahead and fight them. Fight every holly fairy you see. They could sometimes come in groups of three, which can be a little bit hard. They also hit very hard. They could come with some ivies or creepers. Just be careful and do your best. So this is Lorimar. We can't do anything here either. We're just stopping here to get it on the list. So go ahead and do that. All right, now we're going to go north of Lorimar. We're gonna get all these things. Now, I don't know if you remember this thing. Oh, really, dude? I'm talking. Get out of here. Let's go ahead and stop in here. If this place looks familiar, it's because we've sort of seen it. So this is where Millage lives. There's that poison rose. Remember they used that against us in the army battle and it was awful. This pollen is weird. Dear, we'd better retreat for now. Yeah, we'd better. You can't do anything. We just want to get it on our map for later. Okay, so do that. And now, we're going to head northwest to Ante, but we're going to go past it. So Ante is the dot on the map that I'm heading towards. Go around, and we're going to go up a little bit more north, this way. I am so sorry about all of the 
really loud traffic going on. I don't know what the hell happened out there. There's some helicopters out there. There's some kind of incident, which is really weird for this hour, so I'm very sorry if you hear all that. Oh my god, you guys. I love how we haven't seen a single Holly Fairy. <laughs> it's just these fools over and over. Come over here. And this is the northern checkpoint. Again, this is Imperial Run. Most things here are. So we can't do anything with this right now. All right? But we've got it on the list, and that's the important part. One more place. All the way west. I guess we could have gone this, the way before when we were close to Scarlet Tisha, but either way. As long as you get all of these places on your list, it'll save you a lot of time later. Get out of here. Oh my gosh. You guys, I swear, there's holly fairies on this map. <laughs> The best place to do the Nameless Urn thing is as we're going to go around here picking up all these things. Now this is the Dragon's Den. Whoa, this looks pretty cool, right? You probably want to just jump right in here, but you can't. Again, we have to wait for a story. So just grab it and go. Once we've visited all these places and got them on the teleport list, we're going to go to Ante. So Ante is this middle one coming up. Oh my, really, dude? Freaking vines and creepy DBs and ugh. Gross. The, the monsters here are really a pain in the butt. They hit like trucks, but they don't give good EXP at all. It's, it's really awful. Not fun. All right, so here's Ante. So what we're gonna do is we're going to find a couple of people. Oh, hello. This guy looks strange. Hi, welcome to, uh, what was it? Oh yeah, Bia Blanc. What, that's not the name of the place. It said Ante. Well, they'll explain that in a little bit. Hi. Master Millish Sky Letitia Castle is very well defended. As long as he has those poisonous flowers, the place will be untouchable by the Liberation Army. Yeah, I believe it. You've got to be kidding. This town is called Ante. How dare you change it to some stupid name? Oh, it looks like the general has kind of uh, put his influence around, eh? That's probably what's going on. Alright, so what we do now is come to the armory, and we can actually talk to this person. Welcome. Pick and choose whatever you like. But if you don't have any money, forget it. Oh. Well, I don't at the moment. Say, don't I know you? You're Tyr, leader of the Liberation Army. My name's Chapman. I may just be the owner of the sorry joint, but I still got a lot of heart. So please let me join the Liberation Army. I can't stand just being a bystander anymore. Hey, hey! How about this, you guys? If you recruit Chapman, which you should, you're going to get an armory in your castle. Gee, thanks. Let me be in charge of stocking Master Tear's armor. Sweet deal. He joins. So now we have an armory in our castle, which is fantastic news. Now come back in here if you haven't yet. And look at all the stuff so that it can be transported to your armory. Now there's stuff I want here, uh, but I can't afford it. Oh god. There's some good stuff in here too. Um, so go get money. <laughs> come back, which I will do probably off screen at this point. Look at this. Like, you want all of these things. Everybody needs something. We'll do that in a minute. We're still gonna do a little more recruiting, and if today's video is a little more short than normal, I'm sorry. I'm still having a lot of trouble with, like, getting out of breath, because that's kind of what pneumonia does. We all got together and marched to the castle to complain about the town's name, but as we neared it, my god! So basically, the dude is just changing everyone's, like, stuff around here, and then he's holed up in the poison factory, and no one can get near it. Well, that's a good tactic. Anyway, next thing to do is come up to the rune shop, which is right here. Oh, hello. And talk to this fine lady right here. Welcome to Jean's shop. Are you here on business? Huh, <laughs> I sure am. Now you can recruit her to join Entourage, so that's what we should do. Liberation Army. Could be fun. I'll join. Alright. I don't want to spoil too many things, but if you've played Suikoden before, you know exactly who Jean is because she's one of the few characters that shows up in nearly every single game. That's right. She's a rune master, and now, by doing that, our castle has a rune shop. Fantastic! So we have blacksmith, item shop, armory, and rune shop, so when you find things that you need to upgrade, you can do it all by the convenience of your own castle. It's fantastic. Hello. I'll tell you a secret. This is actually Ante. East of here is the town of Tien, and you'll find the village of Recon due south. Well, thanks. I kind of already know that because I've already been around. I'm just saying. But th thanks. Thanks for that. All right. Now, if you still have the toe shoes on, which you should have done if you're following my walkthrough and haven't taken them off, we're going to go recruit someone here as well. And you're probably like, why the hell have I had to wear them this long? 
Well, here's why. Look at this lady right here, this dancing girl it looks like. Hello. Oh, aren't you, Tier? I know you. You're quite famous. My name is Mina. I'm a dancer. Hello, darling. How are you? Well, you might think to yourself, what the hell good is a dancer gonna do? Don't ask stupid questions, just do it. <laughs> what? All right, but only if you dance with me. What? Oh. Then we get this cutscene, which is pretty funny. Now, you can't control anything here. The the only criteria to winning this is if you have toe shoes on. Oh my gosh, check her out. Jeez, she can really dance. And then there's us, who's just literally moving in a circle and jumping up and down. Oh. <laughs> the only way you can win is if you are, if toe shoes quit. On Hero, nobody else. Only works for him. We've done it. We were great. <laughs> I guess you're trustworthy. I can tell because we dance together. After all, I'm a pro. We'll work well together, Tyr. And we've got Mina. I mean, a dancer could be good for morale. She's also quite a nice fighter if you like that style. Well, then I'm going ahead to the castle. All right, dar bye, darling. Bye, I, I like dancing with you. Okay. <laughs> go back into the inn. And then we're going to go to the second floor now. And talk to somebody else. Where is she? Here she is, right here. Oh my goodness, what a fancy looking lady. Oh, who is it? Have I met you before? Oh, that's right. You're the leader of the Liberation Army. You're planning to kidnap me for ransom, aren't you? How frightening! What? No. No, I'm not going to do anything like that. Well, I suppose that's my fate. And it's all because of my beauty, isn't it? Um, yes? Well, okay. I'll come with you, but not for free. You must show me your good faith. Let's see. I'll do as you say if you bring me the opal. Okay, I don't have that on me, and you won't either. So we're not going to be able to get that until a little bit later in the story, but I'll let you know when we get there. Just talk to her for now to get that started. So like the Nameless Urn, the opal is another RNG-based item where if you don't get it, you can't recruit a certain member, and then you can't get the best ending. Which is a little bit harsh, but that's how these games work. All right. So we've got Esmeralda in the in the bag, at least. We know what we have to do. That won't happen until later, though. Now, here's what we're going to do. Right. At this point, by walking around this whole map and getting all of the towns available, if you haven't, if you already got the Nameless Urn by now, head back to Recon. If not, you have to walk around here and find Holly Fairies on the map and fight them until you get it. I'm going to let you in on a little secret, and people that watch Twitter already know that I've done this. I did it before we started the episode because I wasn't sure how long it was going to take, and it was a good thing I did. Here they are, by the way. <laughs> this is what they look like. They will hit like a truck, and they also cast balloon status, so be careful there. If you are going to fight them for a long time, you might want to get some needles, although they do drop needles fairly regularly, so you'll be okay. I'm going to let them go because I already have the Nameless Urn. I got it off screen because I didn't want anyone to wait. It took me 55 minutes to get it. Now, I've had runs where it's taken me five, and I've had runs where it's taken me almost two hours. It's just the luck of the draw, and it sucks. <laughs> so do your best. Anywhere on this map that we're seeing now, the Holly Fairies can come, so get that. Once you get it, let's go to Recon. Now, you remember, we talked to the guy here already. You have to talk to him to start it. Now, I don't know if that really has any bearing on whether the Holly Fairies will drop it beforehand or not, but I just talked to him just to make sure. Hey, Boot. Jabba! What's up, guy? My name's Jabba. I'm an expert appraiser. If you can find something I can't appraise, I'll do anything you ask. Anything? <laughs> well, anyway, I don't want him to do anything. Let me see. See, it goes automatically, as long as you have it in your inventory. Uh, gee. I, I give up. This is most certainly a precious item. Uh, I can't believe there exists an urn that I'm unable to appraise. A promise is a promise. I'll do anything you ask. Oh. Well, shoot. To ask for money. Don't do that. You have to recruit them. Is that all? No problem. I'm no fighter, but my eyes will be useful. Sure will. So now, anytime you have something to appraise, Jabba will be in your castle. Isn't that wonderful? Alright. Good. Now we're going to do something that's a little bit annoying. Let's go into the end. Now, if you remember, we went and talked to this girl once before. You have to do that to start it, and then you have to talk to her again. This little lady is Lot. Excuse me, won't you help me look for my cat, Mina? If you find her, I'll join your entourage. 
Now you guys remember where the cat is, right? There's only one place where we actually saw a cat. It's in Kaku. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave here now. Now you have to wait until she actually asks you for help. Before the first time you talk to her, she says she's looking for her cat. She doesn't actually ask you for the help. But once she does, we're gonna go ahead and help her. So go ahead and get to your item. Go to the blinking mirror and use it to go home. Now, we're going to do some things as we're home as well, because I have a couple of things that I need to do. Here's Hallie, and she's right here, doing nothing, standing next to the mirror. That's what I meant. I feel so bad that I said she was worthless. She is not. She's actually really good, you guys. Don't listen to my rambling. Also, like an idiot, I'm taking the stairs. Because I, I just, you know what? That's just who I am. You gotta get in shape. Take your time to walk. Alright, now, if you come over here, look how this has changed. So you've got the item shop, armory, the appraiser, and the rune shop. This is fantastic, isn't it? Gaspar's still over here if you need him. But what we need is the rock, because I've got to store some stuff. You remember in the last one, we went around to some of those places and got some important things for later, some collectible items. So just to be safe, I'm going to go ahead and drop those off. Is everyone ready for the fine thanks? Here it comes. Fine thanks. All right, <laughs> so... Let's go ahead and see. So we have oh, that trick crystal. Get rid of it. We can't even sell it. Get it out of here. The nameless urn. If you want to keep this, you can. Uh, I think you can put it in your bath. We'll just drop that off for now. The yellow flower seeds, yellow paint. Get rid of them. Just drop them. Make sure they're safe. Uh, and also the blue flower seeds and the blue paint that we got in the last one. If you haven't dropped them off already, I'd suggest that you do that. Because soon we're going to have some story and we're going to want our inventory fairly free. Alright. So now. We can go down to Vicky and go to Kaku. I'll use the elevator for that, just, you know, to save all you guys a little bit of heartache. <laughs> it happens that way. I love how it says basement, but you still have to walk down the stairs. Like, the elevator doesn't come out down all the way down here, like, into the break. Hi, darling. Uh-oh, I've forgotten the spell again. Oh, well. Get used to that, because that's all she says from now on. And now we can teleport. I mean, we could do this before, but we had to walk back. But with the blinking mirror, with Hellion looking after it, we can come back whenever we want. It's so great. So this pretty much ends all of the fussy walking. The only places we have to walk to now are the places we haven't been. Now, this is annoying, and I might be really bad at this. So the cat is going to run away the minute you get to it. The best thing to do is kind of get it up against a wall, if you can. Oh, no. That, no. No, kitty. Kitty, come back. Kitty! Oh no! <laughs> I'm 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 absurdly bad at this. The best thing to do is to get it down here and see if you can catch it. There we go. Once it says meow, we've got her cat. Okay. It was freaking out a little bit there, but it's okay. It's it's fine. So now we leave here. We use the blinking mirror. Remember where it is, it's always on tier, that's the safest place for it. I really wish they would have put it in key items, but no. In Suikoden 2, that's exactly what they did. Alright, so let's go back to Recon. Yes, yes. Why else would I talk to her unless I needed teleportation? I mean, it's pretty obvious. Okay. Let's go. So apparently we're carrying her cat in our pants. That's okay. Don't worry about that. Totally fine. Hey, darling. I've got something for you. It's in my pants. Oh, good. Here she is. I looked all over for you. How did this cat get all the way to Kaku by itself? Thank you, Tyr. My name is Lot. Lot the Magician. As a gesture of thanks, I'd like to join you. Lot's okay. I mean, if you like the cute little girl types, why not? It's really up to you. She's all right. She's a good magic user. Not bad at all. All right. Now then. Give me one second to blow my nose because I am still sick and then we will continue. Okay, I'm so sorry. Now, there's two ways you can go at this point. There's uh, three characters that we could recruit now. However, to do so, we would have to do a lot of grinding. We would have to get a lot of money, get at least, at least level 12 weapons at this point, and the best armor possible in the game at the, this time. Since we don't have a lot of money, it would take me a long time to grind that. So while it would be nice to do that right now, I'm going to go ahead and hold off on that for now until the next part of the story progresses. So to progress the next part of the story, we're actually going to go to Tian. So let's go ahead and head out. 
So for this next part to work, you must have taken the boat from Recon and encountered the rapids. Remember when we did that and I was like, this isn't going to make much sense. But now it might. So let's go back to Tien. I'll just walk because shoot, we're right here. It'll take just as long to use the damn blinking mirror. Would you guys get out of here? I don't want what you're selling. My god. All right, fine. So you had to have encountered the rapids for this next part to work. So once you're in Tien, there's two houses that are at top. If you try to go in these beforehand, it actually doesn't let you. It says, like, no one is permitted to enter by blah, 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 blah. All right, so go to the left one first, and you can enter it now. Hello. This guy's name is Gen. Who the hell are you? Liberation Army. Never heard of you. I have no interest in such things. All I'm interested in are boats. I'll take on any job as long as it's worthy of my skill. All right. We have no business with you. We need a boat that can beat the rapids. Now, this whole thing won't happen unless you've seen the rapids already and have a feeling that you need to get by them. That's why we did that before. The rapids are Duna, eh? Eh, interesting. All right. I, again, will show you what I can do, but I can't do it alone. An ordinary boat will never make it. All right, what do we do? Then what will you do? I have some ideas. Oh, Common Doll next door should be able to help us. Even if he's half dead. Let's go see him. Oh. Gen will join party, reduce party membership by one. All right. Uh... It doesn't matter, because we're going we're gonna to fix this in half a minute. Bye. It's fine. All right. Gen joins party, and then what we do is go next door, just like he said. Right up here. Look at this sign here. The old geezer thinks he's a big shot. I think the sign basically says, like, no admittance, except on party business. I don't know. Hey, old man, I know you're in there. Come out, you bum, or I'll break down the door. Wow, that's not nice, dude. You again. I told you not to disturb my experiments. Here you are, you creepy old man. You should get some sunlight. You look sick. Come on out. I warned you not to call me old man. What do you want with me anyway, bringing these delinquents with you? D -d delinquents Don't you dare insult young master. I can understand such language for Victor. Whoa, wait a minute. <clears throat> Don't confuse the issue. No, it's it's true. Hey, geezer, do you know the Dunan Rapids? I was going to ask you how they can be navigated, but come to think of it, a senile old fool like you wouldn't have a clue, right? Watch your mouth. I can do anything, depending on time and money. So, there is a way. Of course. I'll show you. Step inside. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. So we've got the boat guy, and then we've got, you know, the science guy. Maybe together, they can make something important. Look at this. This will get you over the rapids. What is it? Is it like an engine? What is it? It's a machine that moves by burning oil. Amazing. A machine that runs on oil? Sounds ridiculous. So if you attach this to a boat, you can travel upstream? Correct. Okay, then let's take this to b b Plummy Lammer, Prummy Lamb, Premium Lobby. Premier Lamour, you idiot. Yeah, I guess the guy has changed every name around here to French and nobody likes it. Shut up. Who can remember a stupid name like that? Let's go to Recon. Take good care of this machine. It's fragile. What? You mean... We have to carry it? Wah wah, yes you do. Of course. You plan on letting a frail old man carry this? Oh. Cam and Dole will join party, reduce party membership by one. And, you know, coincidentally, at this part of the game, you can only reduce your party membership by two because everybody else is permanent for now. So bye, Kai. Basically, pray you don't get into a fight because these two, useless. It's okay. We got the engine. At this point, if you've been going around trying to get the Holly Fairies, you're probably at a high enough level where you can let go all of the monsters that you come across, so it's not a big deal. Alright. So, we obtained the engine, which is listed as Prodigy and Party Items, if you care to go look. I'm not going to. We're going to leave Tien and go to Recon. Let's go go. I'm not even going to do formation. Like, that's how little I care about it, to be honest. I swear. Don't worry. If something comes, just let it go. Or if you have to, bribe them. Doesn't matter. All right, now this will progress automatically. Here we are. Here we are. I, I just said that. Good, go ahead and unload the equipment. Thank God I can bid this load farewell. 
Yeah, it does look heavy, doesn't it? It was pretty tough fighting with this on my back. We didn't even see anybody. Whatever. Hey, geezer, let's get to work. I don't have to be reminded by you. Atir, you're all getting in the way, so why don't you go to the inn or something? Don't worry, you'll have a shiny vessel in no time. Alright. Why don't we do that? So he, get, he basically just goes automatically. Damn that old man, making me carry such a heavy load. Ugh, I'm exhausted. Let's call it an early night. It sounds good. Alright, so you get to sleep for free. Everyone's snoring, as usual. <laughs> oh, well, maybe just Victor. Oh no, okay, no, everyone. It, it's pretty much everyone. <laughs> oh, not Gremio, he's good. He doesn't He doesn't snore, you see. He's perfectly quiet. Aw, oh, bless. Is Gremio okay? What's wrong, buddy? Young master, I, I, Gremio, have taken care of you since you were tiny. Sometimes I feel as you were my little brother. No, my son even. Oh, Gremio, what's wrong? Initially, I wanted to repay my debt to Master Tio. But now, perhaps you no longer need me to protect you. No, I do need you. I need you as my friend. Oh, I hope he's not feeling bad. Oh, Gremio. Tio, you're up. How are Gen and his crew doing? I don't know, maybe we should go see. Let's do that. Let's go see how they've progressed. Hopefully they haven't killed each other in the middle of the night, because it doesn't seem like they get along too well. Take a look, we worked all through the night. Making an old man work like this, for shame. Tear, how about a launching ceremony? Alright, I christened thee the SS butt stuff. Yes, board it. Just bored. <laughs> Alright. And now in doing this, you go back to basically where we, we went the first time. We go as south as possible. Now you can see, if you look south, there's a little like kind of dot down there. Way down there. Looks like you can't get to it. Well, that's where we're going. So enjoy this beautiful sailing scene of sailing. With water. And scenery. And all, that, all that good stuff. It's beautiful. <laughs> Boat doesn't go too fast, but at least it'll go past rapids, and that's what we need. So we're gonna come all the way down here. Here it is. Will it work? Hopefully they didn't dupe us. Yeah. And we're gonna stop right here. Where the heck are we? What is this place? It's a bit weird, isn't it? It's just an island. Is there actually somebody living here? Oh my gosh, there is. Hello? So, it appears I tried to isolate myself to no avail. What do you mean? You want me to prepare some medicine, right? I'm tired of all that. Now, if you forgot, they don't really specify, and if it's been a long time like it has for us, we might not remember. We're here to find a world-famous doctor and creator of medicines to get past the poison flowers, which we need to do for the next thing. So that's why we're going to find him, and that's why you needed to beat the rapids in the first place. Please, sir, we must have an antidote for the poisonous flowers of Millich's castle. What is that typo? Look how they spaced it. It's a bit weird. That kind of antidote would be very inconvenient. Who's that? Who is it? Oh my god, oh my goodness! He just came down on a dragon! Look at this guy! Oh, it's him. How do you do? Uh-huh. What's up? How are you, sir? I am the most renowned of the five great imperial generals. Milich Oppenheimer is a flower general. Now, if you remember, I went to go, like, see him in Gregminster, like, when we first started, just to say hello to him. Here he is again. Nonsense. The greatest of the five is General Tio. There you go, Gremio. Oh, my. This must be Tio's lowly servant, and this here is Tio McDowell. Your father must be in tears to know that his son is a traitor to the Empire. Hey you, Peacock Man! What's your business here? Oh yes, I nearly forgot. It just won't do to have you under my sweet flowers poison useless. I shall invite Dr. Lucan over to my impenetrable Sonnier prison. Like hell you will! Get him, old man. Hit him with your cane. Oh please, don't be shy. We must be going now. Tia, I'm not a sissy like Kwanda, you know. Well then... Goodbye, everybody. 
Oh no, so he's taken the doctor. Great. Ugh. Well, that didn't work out at all. Now what would he do? How humiliating, having him snatch away from the front of our eyes? Sonia Prison, that's one tough place to break into. We'd better ask Matthew for advice. For the time being, let's return to Odessa Castle. That sounds like a good idea, but before you do that, go ahead and enter Lican's house. The minute you want to do that, or the minute, the reason is because black paint is in here. That's one of the collectibles that we'll need for later. This is the only place you can get it. All right, so let's go. Now, can't do anything on this screen, however. I don't remember, honestly, I don't recall if the Brinky Mirror works on the boat. Let's find out. That would be great if it did, because <laughs> I don't want to have to go all the way back. Yes? Yes. <laughs> Amazing. All right. Now, we're here. We're home again. It's great to be home. I'll use the elevator because I know you guys are upset about it. <laughs> uh, do we want the third floor? I think we do. I'm going to go drop off that black paint real quick. Oh, crap. Wait, did I do it wrong? Every- you guys, I wouldn't even know where my own head is if it wasn't attached to me. Alright, ready for the fine thanks? Here it comes! Fine thanks. Get rid of that black paint, put it somewhere safe. And that's pretty much all we have to do after that. We'll go ahead and talk to Matthew for advice, but we'll do that in the next one. So, I'm really glad to be back. I hope you guys are too. Hopefully, we'll be able to break our little old man friend out of the prison, but it is not going to be easy. I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye!